To set up the task controller in version 31.31 and above, we can now use the TC setup wizard via the wizard soft key on the home screen. This soft key will not be available if there is not an ISA bus implement connected. You will also need the task controller activated and set to installed in the TC setup page as shown in the previous tutorial. The TC wizard page gives us all the necessary shortcuts to the various menu items required to properly set up the task controller. In addition to this, the full setup wizard will step us through each of these to make sure we don't miss entering any critical information. The first time a new implement is connected, we need to do a full setup. The full setup wizard will take you through a series of different screens based on the answers you give in the first few screens. There are help windows available on each screen, a shortcut back to the main page, as well as next and back buttons to navigate through the wizard. Here it is asking us to confirm the current vehicle selection in the display setup screen. Press next to confirm. In most cases, the task controller will be used with GPS. Selecting here will show us the GPS setup page later in the wizard to confirm that it is properly set up. If you are going to use section control for overlap or boundaries, select yes. If you are going to use prescription maps to control application rate, select yes. If you are going to use the container function to track tank or bin levels on a run screen, then select yes. In this case, I'm selecting no because the implement I'm using has a very good volume tracking function in the VT screen, as well as low bin level sensors to track each bin level. For record keeping purposes, make sure you have the correct operator selected. Make sure the operator's preferred units are also selected. This will change the units in the VT preferences screen. This may be set to a default of US, so always check it. Select the crop type currently associated with the work you will be carrying out. Make sure you have the correct grower, farm and field entered or selected. This is important if you want to use existing AB lines, boundaries or even prescription application maps that may have already been set up with this grower, farm and field structure. Check your GPS receiver, location and connection type. If your tractor is also using AccuGuide or IntelliSteer and is operating correctly, then don't change anything here. If you are using Task Controller on an aftermarket installation and you have a custom GPS location, then make sure you measure and enter the correct forward offset in relation to the tractor's fixed axle. Since we are using a predefined GPS location here, this will not be editable. In this screen, we are setting the distance between the GPS receiver and the drawbar pin, or three-point linkage balls. The rear hitch offset measurement is from the machine's fixed axle to the implement connection point. This will be measured from the rear axle on a front wheel assist or the front axle on a four wheel drive tractor. The remaining distance from the hitch to the implement's actual application point is set in each implement's user interface. Press next after you have entered this information. If you're using a custom GPS location, then this screen will allow you to enter a measurement if your receiver is mounted off center. You will not be able to adjust this on AccuGuide or IntelliSteer machines, as this is a predefined measurement based on the factory location of the GPS receiver. Also double check your GPS antenna height. This will be editable on AccuGuide and IntelliSteer vehicles, as it will change with different tire sizes. However, avoid changing this as you will have to redo the roll calibration if it is changed. If you notice it is incorrect, change it, then carry out another roll calibration on the steering system. It will now check to see if you have usable GPS. If you don't, you will not be able to proceed any further. In this screen, it will display the implement's width that has been sent from the ISOBUS implement. We have to select one of the implement's channels as a primary application channel. This will usually be the main product that is being applied or planted. 
the geometry of this primary channel is what is used to generate the swath widths in the precision farming application in the display. By default, the swath width is the same as the implement's application width. If you want to reduce the swath width to add a little overlap, or if you are working on existing controlled traffic AB lines, then you can edit the swath width here. More information for this primary channel will be shown on the next page. If you need to change anything that has been automatically populated from the implements ECU, you can do it here. Some implements don't have a product latency or delay in their user interface, so you can do that here if needed. You can access these two screens for all available channels at any time by going to Toolbox, then TC, then the TCPF page. The implement will also report the type of material that has been assigned to that layer in the implement's ECU. If you intend to use a different product, you will have to change it here, otherwise the task controller may limit the products available to you based on what is set here. In most cases, you won't have to change this if the implement's ECU has been set up correctly. In this screen, you will have to add the name of the product you are going to use. If you have existing products set up in the display already or imported from desktop software, then you can select one of those. If you added a new product name in the previous screen, enter its details here. This includes the minimum and maximum rates, the default rate and the delta rate, which is the amount it will change by each time the rate is manually increased or decreased. If you're going to switch between products or going to be running more than one channel, you can set up additional products here. This drop down window will show us each of the channels available on the implement. Here you will have to select each of these channels, then assign a product to them to allow them to be mapped as layers. The particular implement that is connected has a separate internal product tracking feature as well, which is why we can already see a product name associated with each channel. This gives extra, extra functionality when this implement is used without a task controller. After selecting the layer or channel, tap the window below to add the product. If you are setting up an implement to apply more than one product, select the additional layers and repeat the previous steps to assign different products to them as well. The task controller is able to map and control up to seven channels either on the same implement ECU or across multiple ECUs. After each channel on the implement has a product assigned to each layer, you can press the next key. In the overlap setup screen, you can adjust how far each section will travel into an already applied area before it switches off. Some chemicals and fertilizers can burn crops from over application, so you may want to minimize their overlap whereas with planting or herbicide application, you may want to maximise the amount of overlap to ensure full coverage. An overlap control soft key can also be added to any run screen to turn overlap control on or off. The percent out of bounds is similar to the overlap setup, but it can be used to make sure there is no product applied outside of the field boundary if this is important for your operation. A boundary control soft key can also be added to the run screen layouts if needed. The start early and stop late distances allow you to adjust the overlap as you enter and leave an area that has already been applied. The default setting for each of these is one meter. Leave it as it is until you get the machine in the field and then fine tune it. Most ISOBUS implements will also have a section shutoff latency setting in their UI as well to allow for a time delay when the sections or control is switched on and off. You have now completed the task controller full setup wizard. If you are going to be using prescriptions, return back to the main screen and complete the daily operation wizard. If you aren't going to be using prescriptions, you can press the run soft key to go to the run screens. Most ISOBUS implements will show a TC connected status in their user interface when they are connected to a task controller. In our CNHI ISOBUS ECU, 
separate icons will display for data recording and section control, as well as prescription application when it is set up. 